You guys, I've been wanting to make these sculptures for years. I'm finally doing it and I'm going to show you how. So the first thing that I do is use my Dasha. <laughs> Perfect. I didn't really know how I was going to structure these. So I grabbed this tomato plant trellis I saw and just thought, yeah, you'll work. So I also grabbed some gloves and some cutters and I just started wrapping it around the side. That's it. Just, just to start with something to build onto. Then grab some cutters. This isn't really heavy duty chicken wire. It's just what we got at Lowe's and it, it cuts pretty easily. It also bites into you pretty easily. So make sure you got some gloves on. Luckily, Sadie was down for this project too. So she's got her gloves and we decided to roll out the next part and then hold it up against the frame I'd already started. And basically what we're doing here, you guys, we're pleating it. We're just folding it over and over and wrapping it as we go around the base. We also decide to go ahead and cut the bodice using a bodice we found at Goodwill. And then we're attaching the bodice right onto the base as we move it around. With each turn, we just twisted the wires together so that it stuck together. And then we took some extra pieces of the chicken wire, rolled them up, and then made the straps to go on top. Now we want these to glow in the dark. So we're adding some primer and we're gonna spray this baby so she's nice and bright white. And while we're at it, we're just gonna ruin a little patch of our lawn. Yeah, we learned a lot on the first one. So now we want to do it again and try some new moves. So we're going to roll it out super long. Okay, Sue. And we want to get it flat so it doesn't fight against us. So we just played a little mother-daughter chasing action on top. And here we're actually doing the pleats on the ground, folding it over and then taking your cute little pink shoes and then stomping it, just stomping it. We really wanted to go super big on this one. So check this out. So again, we're just wrapping it around that base layer like we made before. And as we come around, we're actually rolling it down on top of that first base and fluffing as we go. Just see, just curving it. This is pretty dense. So it's getting a little harder to do because we decided to make it so big this time, but it's still working. So just take it and roll it. Look at her standing up all by herself and look how fluffy she is. So basically, Sadie wants to take some time to get it just right. And then as soon as she gets it exactly how Sadie wants it, then I have to come in and kind of fluff it again, fluff it again, because this is how we work together. This time, Sadie has the idea that instead of pre-cutting the bodice, she's going to do it right on top. So we wrap it around and we kind of, well, kind of, try to stick it to the base that we've already created. Wasn't going that well. So here comes mom. Hey, Sadie. Hey, Sadie. You want some zip ties? Sadie, here's some zip ties. Yeah, that seemed to help a little bit with this. And then I'm like, it's falling in. Let me push it back up. That was dumb. And then we decided, wait, we can flip it over and then push those edges back out again. Give it a little bit of structure. Do a little dance. And then here comes mom again. Hey, Sadie. Hey, Sadie, you want some zip ties? Sadie, I got more zip ties. These, these definitely came in handy for this one because we used so much, it needed more structure. And there we go. She's back on her feet again. She's back. She's back up, people. Okay, now we're able to do that little twisty action again and attach the bodice back onto her bustle. There we go. Twisted. That's exactly how we do it. Now she's got it and she's going all Edward scissor hand on me. Look at my girl go. This girl has never worn a dress in her life, but somehow she nails it. Perfection. All right, so we've got this bodice all put on and we made the straps, remember, just by twisting some extra pieces we had. And we just literally just twisted them right onto the top. And then I noticed where we did all the little twisty action, it looks like little rosettes. How cute. Okay, so we learned a little bit from the last time and decided not to kill the lawn. So we put this up on an old table that had tons of paint on it anyway. And we're gonna spray her white so she really reflects. And then my son wants to just jump in at the, uh, the easiest and most fun part, but I love him. And we get this whole thing done and she's super white. And now you can kind of see everything that we did. Are you down with doing another version with me? So Sadie's at school, oh, so I have to do this by myself. So I'm rolling out strips of the chicken wire, but I'm not being limited to the width of the roll. I'm going the opposite direction. 
and laying them all out and connecting them. And now here, I'm gonna try to put these together and see if I can create enough structure that this thing can actually stand up on its own. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Oh my God, look at it, it's stood up. I'm so excited, I'm so excited all over again. So here's what I'm doing. I'm just rolling it and twisting it, rolling it and twisting it. Oh good, Sadie's home now and I'm standing this up and just molding it. This is really fun, just, yes it is. Do your little dance, Sue. Just kind of creating the flow and how things work. So I'm just playing around with it. Like, should I put a bustle on it? Should I climb on a chair? Basically, Sadie and I are having so much fun just messing around with this stuff that we have no idea that it's getting late. Like, we put the camera on and <laughs> it's getting so dark. Y'all can't see what we're doing anymore, but we're, we're having fun. All I can tell you is we're having a lot of fun here in the dark. The next step was gathering up all the neon paints, putting them in front of the black light, and seeing which ones we wanted to use on the forms. Oh my gosh, look at that light up. So we wanted to add a little bit of color, like an ombre going up the dresses, and we started with spray, which was really cool to spray in the black light, I have to say. But we needed something that gave a little bit more definition. So we grabbed this new neon paint by Daydream Apothecary, and bam, look at that. It's because it's a clay-based paint, it's really thick, so it gave us the look we were really hoping for. So that's really it, you guys. We had so much fun. I hope you'll give it a shot. I'm gonna shut up now and just let you enjoy how this all turned out. And please comment or ask any questions. I'm happy to help.